All right, the next question is from Andre STP. And it says, thanks for this video. I just tried SI Drum Kid on Cakewalk, but I can't find a hi-hat open. Where can I find that sound? Thanks. All right, I'm writing Cakewalk by Band Lab. Have a new project right up, and then I'm gonna go up to Insert, MIDI Track, or Soft Synth. So in this case, I'm gonna do Soft Synth, and then I can create a track using the SI Drum Kit. All right, and I'm gonna press OK. And now my track is up there. Now the SI drum kit, if everything is set up correctly, you should hear audio. Now, for us finding the open hi-hat, basically, this is my hi-hat sound right here. And if I right click on a hi-hat, it'll tell me that note 42 is closed hat. And my pedal hat is 44. If you're not familiar with pedal hat, that basically means that I'm hitting the pedal up and down to give it like a closed and open position. This is a good thing to use if you're doing jazz and you're trying to keep that sock. One, two, one, two, three, okay? So in case you didn't know what that was for, right click on it again and then go down to open hat. Here's the open hat. Now I can change it back to closed now this is how you would find it if you was actually recording something. Now, if I'm gonna use a virtual controller, I'm gonna press Alt-0. I can press T for my closed hi-hats, and I can press U for my open hats. Now, in order for me to close the hats real quick, I have to go back to my T. So I do it like this, I'll press T, U, and then, so it's like T, U, T, T, U, T, T, T. Otherwise, if I just go T, U, okay, and you notice every time I go back to that T, it closes off the hats. So you can find it right here using the controller, but if you don't want to do it this way, and maybe you're just programming your beats in, you can also go up here, step sequencer, all right? So we go to view, step sequencer, or I can press Alt 4, and that pops up and then open hi-hat is gonna be, remember we said it was note 42 is a closed, okay? And open is 46, so. And when I can play that back, okay? Then I can play it that way. Now if I wanted that to close quicker, I would add another hi-hat there, add another hi-hat there. Add another one there, another one there. Okay. All right, another way I can do it is I can go up to my piano roll view and I can go ahead and put the notes in that way. So I gotta find my F sharp three. Go down here, C4, and here is my F sharp. And then I can just plug the notes in by clicking. Oops, clicked on the wrong thing. All right, I can do it that way. Okay, and if I wanted to put my open hats in, I can just click where I want them to be. Okay, I can play that. Okay, maybe that's the pattern that I'm going for. So keep this in mind that you can change these drums inside SI Drum Kit. You definitely can go and find different kits. Just go to the program and find something different. And you also can change the hi-hat pitch. I can tune it up. I can change the panning of it. I can change the volume of it. All right now it's a higher pitch. Okay, that's a different type of hat. So I can go through and find different hats that are available. That's open. That's another close. That's the pedal. And that's the other open. So I'm going to go back to close hat. I can tune it down low. And you can play around with these and use these hats to create special effects in your project. So this is a very cool way to go about doing this. Uh, you also can use TTS or any other type of plugins that you want to install into Cakewalk. You definitely can do that as well. Great question. Thank you, Andre STP.